Hey everyone, I hope you've been enjoying the parkour highlights with the input overlays. It's been fun to make them, but I'm not sure how much more mileage we can get out of this concept, so unless I receive an overwhelming amount of requests to do more, I'm thinking I'm done with it for the time being. However, I did want to do a quick comparison between control methods, especially in AC Unity. If you want a too long didn't watch summary of my conclusion, that's very simple. The best control method for AC Unity, and for any other game for that matter, is the one that you as a player are most comfortable with. That's it. Now, if you want to stick around, I'll go into detail on why keyboard works the best for me, and why I believe it has higher potential than analog sticks if you put in the work to learn it. It's no secret that players tend to be attached to their input method of choice. As someone who is equally capable with a keyboard as I am with a controller, and also as someone who was a console player for a long time and only got into PC gaming very recently, I can confidently talk about what it feels like to play with both and the differences between them in a test environment that is otherwise consistent. So. Both of my input overlay videos were recorded on PC at 1080p 60fps. No other settings were changed between them, in-game and out of it. The only difference between them was the kind of device I used to control Arno. With that in mind, which one did I ultimately prefer as a person who only started learning to use keyboard and mouse a few years ago? Definitely keyboard and mouse. My reasons for this will be outlined ahead, but before I continue I do want to restate that the answer to what is the best input method is always going to be whichever one you personally love most. There's no truer truth, because it doesn't matter how powerful an instrument is if you, the wielder, cannot tap into its potential anyway. You should always prefer playing with something you're great at and love using over something you find difficult and finicky. There are, of course, two exceptions to this. One. You're willing to put in the time to learn and achieve mastery. You're willing to trade having a more challenging experience now for a much better and smoother experience once you learn how it all works. Or two, you straight up just don't have any preference either way. In this scenario, keyboard and mouse win every single time. It has to do with the way Ace Unity accepts movement input and three major constituent elements of that. One. Unity's movement is heavily camera-based. The way you'll move and the way input is processed is reliant on which direction your camera is pointed in, and things you do on your left stick or movement keys are always relative to that camera direction. Two, Unity's movement is, against what surface appearances might be, actually very rigid, and in some ways even more grid-like than its predecessors. This is masked over by gorgeous animations and mocap work. And three, Unity's movement input is most effectively accepted as buffered or held before reaching the next point in a movement chain. In other words, you should always have an action ready as early as possible before Arno's animation catches up to you. You're basically trying to outrun his animations with your inputs already prepared by the time he reaches the place you want to do them from. There are exceptions, like when you're already in a position, but they're very rare. The way analog sticks, mice, and keyboard buttons all interact with these three properties are fascinating. More so than in any other AC game, Unity's movement relies on which direction your camera is pointed at. It treats this as supreme, and all of your actions, whether forward or lateral, always have to be done relative to your camera position. Memento Gallery, a very skilled AC Unity movement player and content creator, mentions that in order to make his runs as smooth as possible, he essentially tries to push any direction other than forward as little as possible. Most of his actual movement is done on the camera stick, and he runs forward unless moving in another direction is absolutely necessary. This means that being able to position your camera wherever it needs to be, whenever it needs to be there, is more important than anything else in the game. A Mouse will always be able to place a camera anywhere at any time, much more instantaneously and much more easily than an analog stick ever could. This is a fact of technology, and no amount of tweaking settings will change this. As we mentioned before, despite appearances, movements in Unity are highly rigid. Unity has some incredibly strong animation work. There are a rare few instances in which diagonal animations do translate into Arno's positioning being shifted diagonally as well. The notable ones are upward wall runs that bias left or right, and ledge pull-ups that end with a left or right twist. These prime you to move in those directions, and they're as fun to do as they are unique. 
However, for our practical purposes, these are the only diagonal animations that actually have a real effect on gameplay. Every other animation in the game, despite looking more organic, is in reality just as rigid and just as grid-like as anything you would see in the first four games. If you peeled back the animations and just looked at the game in a grey box test environment, the way districts and streets are laid out and the way Arno interacts with objects, 99% of the time is expressed in clean 90 degree right angles. These 90 degree angles naturally respond to input that's sharp, clean, and linear, and that comes most easily from a button press on a keyboard. You can definitely achieve the same kind of movements with an analog stick, I should know, I played Unity and Syndicate on controllers for three years. Memento Gallery's comment comes back into play here as well, and it's a big part of why trying to run in clean straight lines is often best and smoothest. However, it's much more consistent and reliable to have Arno respond to your controls when you're playing on keyboard, because unlike an analog stick, you're less likely to muddy up your input and make it more ambiguous for the game than it needs to be. All of your movements are sharper and align more smoothly with the grid-like object snapping that Unity's parkour system is laid on top of. Far from making your movements more unnatural, in my experience, this actually smooths out Arno's animations and behaviors even more because there is no longer an invisible debate between what the game expects your controls to say to it and what you expect the game to respond with. Finally, to cap off with number 3, most of the time to play as smoothly as possible, you need to have a movement action prepared and held down in advance of Arno's next interaction with a piece of architecture. If you're jumping forward at a ledge or running up to one, and you want to side hop or eject off of it, you should already be pushing your left stick or movement keys in the direction you want to go next, while Arno is still in his jump arc, or while Arno is still in his wall run. This way, as soon as he's able to perform the next action, he will. This kind of input buffering feels, to me, a lot simpler and quicker to do when I can put my camera where I want it to be instantly and already be holding the relevant button on my keyboard, instead of a vague, ambiguous stick tilt, which can muddy up the game's perception of exactly where I want to go. Aside from these movement-specific traits, playing Unity on keyboard also allows you to instantly switch to anything in your item selector, instead of having to scroll through it, provided you've memorized its corresponding button on the number row. 2 for Berserk Blade, 4 for Smoke Bomb, 3 for Firearm, 1 for Phantom Blade. It's much quicker and less strenuous on a player's fingers than having to tap 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 your D-pad multiple times in both directions. What this also does is allow you to keep moving, because you can have your forward key, W, held down with your middle finger while selecting items with your ring finger and index finger. On a controller, this kind of simultaneous input is less practical, because when held naturally, the thumb interacts with both the d-pad and the left stick. To use one, you necessarily need to cease using the other, which means you cannot easily move while quickly selecting items. Combine this with item switching requiring multiple taps of a d-pad on a controller, and what this culminates in is keyboard simply having a much greater response time to sudden threats that were not anticipated. On a keyboard, if you turn the corner and there's suddenly a guard there that you weren't expecting, you can react to that threat. The general conclusion should be obvious by now. If you play on console, or if you're not willing to invest the time to learn a new input method, then you should just treat this video as entertainment, maybe just something fun to think about. Keep playing with what you're used to, because you'll mostly still play just as well, except in very specific scenarios like the kinds that I outlined. However, if even a small part of you has the opportunity, and is willing to put in the time to wield the keyboard and mouse as your weapons, you will find that this control scheme allows you to do things a controller physically lacks the ability to do. If you are as obsessed with playing to the peak of your ability as I am, this may be something you'd like to look into and try out. With all that said, some of the best Assassin's Creed Unity players on YouTube play these games on a variety of input methods, and they're equally as impressive and successful, so there's plenty of inspiration to be taken from everywhere. Treviso plays on a controller, Black Tie plays on a keyboard, and I play on both. Thank you so much for listening to this little discussion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Keep climbing, keep running, keep jumping, and stay sneaky.